Uh, now it's my uh, pleasure to introduce Arlene Aitchen from CMHC, Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation. Um, along with CMHC, LSF developed a special excellence in education award, and Arlene is going to present it to Gina Marucci, an outdoor education teacher from the York Region District School Board. Thank you both. Thank you and good evening, everyone. I'm pleased to be here to actually recognize two outstanding educators with CMHC's Excellence in Education Award. Paul Hackle, recipient of the 2013 Excellence in Education Award, and Gina Marucci, recipient of the 2014 Excellence in Education Award. The Excellence in Education Award was cre created in 2003 to, to recognize outstanding educational contributions to sustainable practices. Recipients are based are selected based on their efforts to integrate sustainable practices into the academic curriculum. Both Paul and Gina were nominated for Innovation in Teaching and Sustainable Project Awards. And let me tell you why they're our recipients. First, I'll start with Paul. Paul Hackle is currently Site Supervisor and Teacher at the Toronto Urban Studies Centre. Prior to joining this centre, he was teaching at Riverdale Collegiate Institute, where he developed the Sustainable House Project which has been recognized by his peers and internationally for, as a model for sustainable education. The Sustainable House Project was part of the Environmental and Resource Management course and engages students in researching, designing, and building a scaled model of a sustainable house. So this whole idea evolved out of uh, the course when Paul took it over, he felt that there was a need for a more hands-on kind of deeper learning project. So he created the project and his first attempt went really well. The students used recycled projects and helped build these model houses. And as the course developed, Paul started bringing in planners, uh, local architects uh, to present their learnings to the class and then industry peers to come and help review the class. As a result, many of the students have ended up doing environmental education, so, uh, civil engineers, professional builders or renovators. And as I mentioned earlier, Paul has presented this, uh, this uh, project to teachers all over Toronto and internationally through a video that was produced by the Dearness Environmental Society. Gina Marucci is an outdoor education teacher at the Vivian Outdoor Resource Centre at the York Region School Board located in Stouffville. Prior to her current role, she was seconded from York Regions uh, to teach at Wabagongameg First Nation School part of the Chippewas of Georgina Island First Nation. She's being recognized for her work with the Chippewas um, work with the Mother Earth Mentoring Program. This unique program offers the opportunity for students to spend time outdoors learning natural skills and developing nature awareness while integrating big ideas from the Ontario curriculum and First Nations knowledge and perspectives. So themes from the program uh, do take the Ontario curriculum and First Nation culture, and they've been integrated in to you primarily from science and social studies, but being further expanded in literacy, visual and cultural arts, and native language. So in addition to these kids building their knowledge about sustainability, students encourage each other to face their fears in a supportive environment, raising self-esteem while building a community of learners through hands-on, minds-on, outdoor experimental education. Before I present Gina and Paul with their awards. I'm going to talk a little bit about the award itself. It was designed by Floyd L. Zinga of Artifice Designs and it's all from McLean materials. And uh, you'll see I have two of them here. While there's a set design, they're different. Each of them are different. So the laurel uh, represents achievement and the book represents knowledge. So on behalf of CMHC, I'd like to ask uh, Paul and Gina to come up here and congratulate you both for your enthusiasm, expertise, and your efforts in incorporating sustainability in our, into our curriculum. 